Hey everybody, this is a demonstration of scheduling AI agents with JIRA. So we have two agents that have been added to this project as users, and let's see what they can do. So these are the two agents. There's me. I can do projects too with them and um, be on the team. And then we have two agents that were created um, using ADER. And we're also using N8 and to coordinate a lot of this. So here's our board. Um, let's see, it's project one for this one. And that's an annoying notification there. I'm using the free version of Jira. So in the backlog, we've got a bunch of tickets that's gonna build a small donut shop uh, landing page uh, with um, database for users and um, sending emails using SendGrid. So that should be, um, it's kind of small but difficult enough to kind of exercise this. Also, because it's late and I don't have a lot of time left, I'm just going to tell it to uh, use Markdown uh, as its implementation instead of writing it full. Um, but I'm putting the voiceover on this now, so I know that they did not do that. Um, they went ahead and implemented stuff, so I'll have to see how that works. So if we start the sprint here, we will see. Uh, action start happening. So what's going to happen is the print sprint will start, the robots will start looking at the board to see which tickets are assigned to them and take them in priority order and move them in, move one ticket, you can only work on one ticket at a time, and move one ticket uh, into um, in progress. And let's see that happen after we hit start here. All right, sprint started and we should start seeing some activity on the right. And so they recognize that their, the board has started and got this event from Jira on a webhook. So now they're um, firing away and figuring out what tickets to work on. So you can see that um, the first one that's working on the UI picked up its ticket and moved it into in progress. And it's working on it now. And we'll show, see how that's working in a minute. Um, the second one that's doing the back end um, picked up Flyway um, to add that to the database. And these are in priority order, so it takes them in column order uh, when it's working on something. So they're both working uh, in running state. Um, this thing doesn't refresh until a little bit after it's uh, done. So let's go ahead and see what the agents are doing. I created two folders uh, here, actually three, one for me too. Um, but each agent has its own uh, projects folder, so it can work on projects. Um, I pulled down the project with a clone Eventually, I'll make them do it, and they should just go able to check it out with the, whatever the URL is on the project. And so let's go ahead and tail a Ader chat. And so this is the chat session that's happening between uh, our Jira description and uh, Ader, um, the terminal agent. Uh, so it looks like they're done with their first task. So let's see what happened. If I refresh the browser here, uh, oops, wrong one. If I refresh the browser here, in JIRA, we should see that they moved into review, which they did. So now the process here is that a human will review their PR. So we can open up uh, one of these and we'll see a PR link uh, down below in the comments once they're done. And so there's the PR it created in GitHub. Uh, that should be a link. I need to fix that message there. Uh, so if we go here, we'll see uh, what this one did with this pull request. So this is uh, 21 and I don't have a message being made yet. Uh, I'll make it do that too. And then here is the, the index HTML page that it made. There's some diff at the top, uh, maybe? No, it's just wrapping. Okay, so that one did that, and that was the pro request. Um, normally, I would uh, look at the PR, approve it, merge it in, and then move this to done. And then it'll go pick up its, own, its next ticket. I only allow them to work on one ticket at a time so it doesn't get confusing with their folder structure. Maybe we could change that later. All right, so this one did a PR as well, and let's go ahead and put that in done, and now you'll see more activity on the right. Well, which you won't because it's not scrolled, but if I refresh the browser now, um, we should see them move things into progress. So let's see. Yep, they just moved their next tickets into progress and they're starting to work on it. So let's see what they're doing over here, and you can see that the ADER um, uh, history is showing what is happening in real time. I just, I'm just tailing it. 
so there's the one that was is working on the database so uh, something about flyaway to migrate so it's doing this is the flyaway thing there must be a flyaway ticket going on in there right now and the other side is working on uh, modifying the landing page uh, to use the fetch API so that one's adding uh, a JavaScript to the index page so let's see what's going on over here oh they're done okay so that's in review so now again the process would be that I'd uh, review their pull requests merge it into main and then go ahead and move this to done so that they can pick up their next ticket so that review column is the intention uh, that the human is watching what they're doing and making suggestions so uh, it doesn't do this yet, but I want to have it uh, use PR um, comments to further work on their um, their ticket, just like I would if I was doing it um, with the Ader directly. So here's the next instruction that came down for this one, and something about using JDBC. So again, I told them just to do this um, in as a markdown implementation and not do actual code. It did actual code. Um, so I'll have to see what that code came out with. It's probably a bit tainted because of my instruction, but we'll see what happens. And we will get this thing building uh, in one shot like this and with interaction in GitHub comments. Uh, that'll be the next update to make to this. All right, and I get rate limited a lot. And we're running on bedrock. Uh, I don't remember <clears throat> if I have this one going through light LLM. I have that on my machine, but I don't remember if I'm using it here. And this is my uh, home laptop. So one of them finished, and that was the one to uh, put them in the table. So I'm just going to just approve it right now and make the thing go to done. I'm not merging in any... Um, of their PRs right now, so I'm not expecting, well, no code's gonna break right now, so they can just keep freewheeling. This is mostly a video about how to schedule them, not so much of the work they do. The next one will be about the work they do. Okay, almost getting there. Um, this probably would have taken me at least, well, depending on if they built it right, uh, at least a week to do. Uh, so it's kind of neat to schedule some agents to do it while I'm doing something else. and. I'm going to probably make a team of them, like four or five, and schedule them that way and maybe work on uh, separate projects. We'll see how that works out. Okay, so still working. It takes, once it gets down to the agent side, now we're dependent on the models um, and their speed. So we got another one done. Uh, so that's a controller to receive the interest form. So somebody's working on that one. And that's a pull request. And I think I've seen 24, oh, it says eight, 19 seconds ago. So let's see what that is. All right, so we've got a couple things there. It looks like it modified the index HTML page, or I think, oh, maybe that's for the scripting at the bottom. Yeah, it looks like a full page. I don't know what that is. So, oh, we're rate limited again. And that one's still in review. So let's move it over to done so it can do the next one. That's CS25 again, one minute. I think I'm pulling up the, wrong, the same ticket again. But let's go and look at the pull requests themselves. Okay, we have six pull requests and I haven't changed the, um, the comments in the PR, it's just written, said made changes. I'll have it summarize uh, at some point. Oh, this one created a bunch of files. So there's an application properties and it's got the, in the description, I told it to make a database Postgres with these credentials, fake credentials, they don't really do anything. Um, so that's good. I also disabled, you can probably see on the bottom right, I disabled the, um, the part where it does the build and um, starts a server so I could actually review its work as it goes and it'll send in a link of what 
uh, port it's using to run its own copy of the application. I disabled that because it's really late right now and I just uh, don't want to deal with any issues that might come with that. And so all the to-dos are done and we're in progress. So this is almost finished. Okay, a long pause. I should probably cut this part out, but um, let's refresh. They're still working. Okay, something just happened. You can see on the right that a new event came in. So, okay, that moved to in review. So let's just go ahead and drag that over. Again, I should review that and make PR comments if needed. Okay, and that one is doing work. Okay, it says it's done. I don't see new work happening. Let's see what's going on down here. Okay, these look like they're both finished. They have a cost. At the bottom you can see the cost. Uh, Four cents uh, total for this session. Ada right now is running in one session per um, per hit, we can say. I send it a prompt, it does that prompt, and then it exits. So it's probably, I don't know how much this is costing. It might be, a, hopefully it's less than a dollar. Okay, still in the same spot. So I don't know that anything's happening with this one. It's, um, it might have stopped for some reason or might have been stuck or thinks it's done and didn't move the ticket. Who knows, it could have been some collision or timing thing. So let's see, um, if we look at the graph, we can see check marks on the bottom right of these little nodes and that only got to there and then stopped, it looks like. So that could be what happened there. So it's, it's prob that's probably a timing issue because it's going into the JIRA database to look at something and it probably said, oh, well, I'm done with this one. At least that's what it looks like. I have, that's why you see that five second delay um, to help with the JIRA. So JIRA will report the event and then eventually the database updates. Um, so let's go ahead and reassign this guy. So that's on agent two right now. Let's set it to agent one who is already done with its work. And then let's put it back in to do and we should see agent one pick it up and see what happens from there. So we haven't had to touch any code. We haven't had to restart or do anything um, and it's working. So two events came in, so it's in progress now. Um, and if we refresh, we'll see that. So in progress happens, then it updates and says, okay, I moved it in progress. Let's go ahead and fire an event to um, update the code. It copies the, dis the description from the ticket and puts it into a markdown file in the directory. And then the instructions are to use that file to make its change. And so it looks like it might be done. Let's see, refresh. Oh, wait, no, it's still working. Okay, this one is doing send, the one on the left is doing send email instructions. The one on the right is doing send grid setup. All right, let's check it again. Oh, okay, it's done, it's in review. So let's go ahead and move that over and we're done. Um, so that's the end of it. Thanks for watching. Oh, I could complete the sprint now, but um, I'm going to do this again.